Cause I've been riding in this ship Chasing that red rock beyond the clay The tedium bears down on me The loneliness and atrophy This cosmic radiation kills my brain The long black night gives way to strange ideas In the sky it appears inside my heart And in my manic state the calm voice says to hurt my fellow man And gravity and sanity depart in this tear It's funny how fluids flow up on Mars. We've changed that bag 12 times already. It is remarkable how the body flushes itself out. Like filthy rivers from foul cities. Heading into the sea. Yes. Except this time it's a series of bags. Too bad we can't just hang a line out the window. I hate handling the damn things. Sir, you're alive! Yes, sorry for being so depressing last time. You droning in the end of the world is definitely depressing. Well then brace yourself. What news, sir? I'd had a lot of drinks. We all did. We thought the Earth was doomed. And then I fell into the swimming pool at the Prime Minister's residence. They fished me out, but... Ever since I came home from space, my body does not react well to trauma. Tell me about it. So, the Earth? This might seem far-fetched to you. Try me. North Korea's nukes did not melt the ice caps. They blew up on the way out of their silos. We don't know if it was an accident or on purpose. How bizarre! I bet. They took over the news and the internet with false stories about the sea levels rising and cities and populations being destroyed. And everybody believed it. That's exactly right. They were able to shut down the grids of those places, so we didn't find out for a few days. That's highly intuitive. Well, I visited North Korea and I had a similar obfuscation occur while trying to find my luggage. Anyway, it's a gorgeous day today, Brendan. I hope things are working out smoothly for you on Mars. Of course, the Dionysus fell for the fake news, so there isn't a ship to come and save you if you're in trouble. The Absolute Zero Space Company is expediting a new ship as fast as they can. But in the meantime, I know I can count on you. The space company is still in existence. It is. Contracts are still legal. Ay, Santa Madre de Dios. I sense trouble ahead, First Officer Dirk. There is always trouble here. I sense a breakdown in the DNA moth-human intersection. It could lead to violence. Oh, great. You know I've renounced violence. Good. It has no place in the universe, but you still might be needed to deflect it. I'll see what I can do. I'm going to make you a hologram. In fact, you're a hologram right now. But it needs an additional layer. That's way cool. What do I need to do? Well, if the moth creatures get out of hand, I want you to think of an earth animal. One that you share some affinity with. One that is a large predator. 
I've always thought that the grizzly bear was my totem animal. Think of your bear, and I will make you it. Whoa! What? It appears for you that bears were tied up in the cartoons that you watched as a kid. Just curious, have you ever dated a Canadian before? No. Pero, I had an intimate moment with an Australian from Jur Commonwealth. What was that? Well, he was ziplining in the jungle and he accidentally tore his chode on a tree branch. He was confidential, but I wouldn't call it a date. What's a chode? 